I wouldn't say the borders are perfect, but I will say that today we are going to be getting Baltic Crusader. So I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign up to this point. I hope you guys are excited to wrap it up today. This is going to be the final episode, so I hope that that is not too much of an issue for you guys. Uh, though we did start a new campaign, I think, yesterday here on the channel uh, with uh, as the Ottomans, which is funny. I've become the very thing I swore to destroy. Um, but uh, we are playing some Flavor Universal. So right now what we're doing is we are waiting until I can get my guy here. So I guess it's just a little bit of speed five now. Now, I would like to attack Lithuania and uh, annex this land over here. So I'll clean up these borders. So don't worry about that, you pretty little boy. You pretty little things. I'm going to say pretty little boys. That sounds a little strange. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Yeah, we have very little absolutism, honestly. All right. Get a little more production. These buildings have a really good return on investment and then let's continue to build some universities over here in uh, the polish lands that will give us lots of good development bonuses now i don't need to spy on you guys anymore and i do need to get some claims over here so let's get some claims over here one more will be 45 and all is well Hope you guys are all doing well though i hope you guys have enjoyed the campaign because i have had so much fun with this it's definitely not the longest campaign i've ever played but boy was it some action-packed fun right france wants to be my ally again all right france i will allow it let's see here i can rival him <laughs> let's send a scornful insult to britain let them know that they suck and that we hate them for bigger pp it's just good to keep your pp as big as possible if uh, Cossack aggression here. Very good. Yes, I will gladly take some, uh, some of that there. My truce with those boys is over. Uh, yep. Construction cost is a good modifier to be stacking for us. So let's just, uh, continue. Let's see here. Preferably in grasslands provinces that I would like to develop. Though a lot of this stuff might still need to be stated up here. Let's unstate you. Uh, turn you off. Let's take a look here. What are my edicts looking like? Turn you off. And let's go with land maintenance. I don't need that. I'd rather have the extra money. We should probably build some more forts over here just to make sure that the Ottomans are not going to be a problem for us. So this one will project here. And then this one will project to here. So we can build another one like right here, which is a fort, a uh, coastal fort. And that will also prevent them from coming over there. And then if I build one here, this one communicates with that. And this one communicates with this right here. So that is a good fort line. So as far as this stuff goes, yeah, we still have governing capacity. I'm not going to core anything because I want to get this, uh, this, um, this dude here before next month, hopefully. Yeah. Ah, yes. Wait, one more month. One more month. There we go. So here's a little trick. You got to pick your, uh, thing here. Let's go with native or uh, coexistence or whatever. You wait for him to get there. Then you just recall him. I'll take the diplo mana. Thank you. Thank you. How does it take that long? Our capital is just like so far away. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, I don't care about that. That's the nice thing about um, uh, Siberian Frontiers is they're just like immediate. Now, I would like to get a trade guy. So let's go with a trade guy if we can. Nope. A trade guy, please. There you go. Level one is fine. I don't really care. I don't really need this guy either. So once he gets there, and the nice thing is that it automatically converts whenever you're colonizing. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. Then you just recall him, send another one out here. And uh, once we get this province here, we will get the, uh, the achievement. Though I think it has to be a core, yeah? Yeah, it's a Teutonic core. So it's just going to take some time because we're going to end up having to core this province before. Um, I'll take the Pope mana. That's fine with me. Um, yearly prestige or devotion. Let's go with yearly prestige. That's fine. And, um, let's see here. Do we care about any more of these? Yes, I suppose. There's no downside to it. Free mana. Yes, please. I love free mana. 
You guys know how much I love free mana. Our truce with these guys is up in 31. So get our claim there. We now have claims on all their provinces, which is good. And our absolutism is still slowly ticking up here. So I guess we go with the theocratic. That actually puts the theocrats in charge now. So, oh, they are not really. Huh. I've been bamboozled. Either way, we just got a half off stab cost, guys. So let's go with you and upgrade you to level three. Might actually even upgrade you to level four. More admin mana. Push through our idea group. And we can get a couple more of these guys over here. So let's do that. All of Poland shall be uh, educated. Educated correctly, uh, uh, that is. It has to be the appropriate education. Education that is approved by the state. Because the state knows what's right for you. Isn't that right? The state knows exactly what's right for you. And if you disagree, you're a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> How poignant. But yeah, I guess we can just drill our armies. We don't really need them uh, doing anything else. So let's have you guys head over here. Let's get a general on you. Yeah, we're basically done with wars aside from Lithuania. Allied to France. Of course they are. Of course they are. Looks like we're going to break our alliance with France. Oh, no. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, we're making really good money now. How's our tech looking? Oh, yeah. We're in a good spot with tech. So we'll wait for these buildings to finish up, and then we'll do some development down here. It's nice because we don't have a whole lot of trade power down here. Eh, to be honest with you, we could definitely go with a little bit more. Get you up to 30. Is It, it is 30, right? This one's already a level 3. Let's uh, dev you up. Is it 25 or 30? 25. Oopsies. That's okay. Just need a little bit more money. But every bit that we get will help us steer a bit more up here. Even though we're still losing 15, dude. That's crazy. That is actually nuts how much we are losing. But you can have one uh, level 3 center of trade for every uh, merchant that you have. So we can have 8. So now you can see here 15.7 will actually translate into... There you go. Another 0.4. Which will come up there. Which we are collecting quite a bit of. An extra merchant as well. Speaking of the devil... Let's uh, steer from here, yeah? Yep, let's transfer with you. They only have 20. Less than 20 ducats in there in Constantinople, and we have 83. Just like that. Yeah, baby. See? Steering is so good. People don't understand. People just don't get it. People try to argue with me. Say that I'm not doing it right. All right, we definitely need to be building these. Goodness gracious. What am I doing? See, and I, I wonder why I'm not an optimal player. Things like this happen. Every couple of months, we'll be able to build another one. No big deal. Got to upgrade them. These guys are a huge boon to our economy. All right. Um, base production is good. And uh, let's build some more of those over here. Specifically in the provinces where we're steering from and collecting in. Okay. Can we get some more down here? We can. Nice. Well, where is... So, Kaffa here. Let's partially state you so we can upgrade you. Need a little bit more money. That's fine. So that's a quite a bit of trade that we'll be able to... Well, actually, just kidding. Looks like the Ottomans are not steering from here. What? That is weird that they're not steering... Okay, that's a misplay on their on their end. All right, build a couple more here. That will actually increase our income significantly, I think. Because that extra 15, like every little bit of extra trade power we get is more that we're going to be able to prevent from going out. So we just need to wait on this guy to finish up. So it doesn't give like an estimated time of finishing. I don't think it does, does it? I do not think so. All right, so let's get a little bit more trade over here. Uh-huh. Because that will allow us to steer more from over here.
because we propagate trade power. Basically, the more trade power you have downstream, it propagates that trade power upstream. So that's how we have, you know, I guess I have a lot of the clay over there. We lost our Pope mana, our Pope man position, sadly. All right. So now I just need to get a couple more of these guys upgraded over here. So yeah, you can see there was like almost 15 ducats a month heading over there, but now there's only 14. More settler increase. Thank you, sir. Now we'll upgrade Königsberg. And I'll upgrade Riga as well. So let's uh, get you developed over here. There you go. All these guys are level two. There's literally, you always want to have them upgrade to level two at the very minimum. Uh, dev you twice. Upgrade you to level two. Yeah, I don't need to upgrade these ones because we're already steering quite a bit from there. All right. But yeah, look at this. Sub 13 now. And each of those is money that's going into our pocket. And you got to remember, like, all that money will add up over time. Uh, no, I don't don't care about that. Yeah, we're pretty close. Well, now it's gone down. Army maintenance, fort maintenance. Yeah, we're getting finishing up our forts here. 355. Five. Yes, please. Good, sir. Germain Johan de Luxembourg. I love it. Kalmic. <sighs> Kalmic? I think I need that, actually. Yeah, that's unfortunate. If you don't know, Kalmic is a really interesting... Wait a minute. Did it not just say I was going to declare war on them? Either way, they're Buddhists, which is kind of cool, right? Yeah, I don't know why it said I was going to declare war on them, and then I, it didn't. So I think I just got lied to. It's all good, though. Right after I upgraded the center of trade and was building those buildings, it's going to hurt my economy. Who's joining my coalition here? No, I don't care about you. You guys can try to join my coalition, but it looks like Ottomans are losing a war, so it's probably not in their best interest, yeah? They attacked Austria, and they're getting clapped on. When is my truce up exactly? 31. Gotta attack those guys before they attack me, otherwise that will be an issue. Upgrade Riga. No edict. Don't need all the edicts on all the time. Put you guys on trade. Let's put these guys on trade as well, just to see if it helps. 11.5 going out. Yeah, oh yeah, that definitely helps. Let's turn you guys off your edict as well. And there you go. Hey. Good. Wait a minute. We got a free province out here. How did I get this province here? Oh, I'm dumb. That's a province I conquered from Uzbek. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. My bad. Ignore me. Ignore me. So Kalmyk getting attacked over here by a guy that's probably going to steal it. Gosh, dang it, man. I'm so sad right now that that happened. Hopefully they get full annex and I can just attack guys like Mook. Uh, they might not get full annexed. I would prefer it if they did, honestly. It'd be good. Because then I could just attack them and reconquest. Because I didn't lose my cores, I, I believe, yeah? I lost my cores? Ah, oh, so stupid. That is really dumb. Alright. Um... Yeah, still quite a bit of trade over here. I don't know why. Hmm. Moscow also can be upgraded. Let's upgrade you twice. No. No, I don't think we need to. Uh, take that. Oh my gosh, center of... <laughs> if I would have just waited. All right, so these guys just took a bunch of that clay. We're going to holy war them. This stack can handle Uzbek. And this stack can handle these guys over here. I don't care about the rest. I'll have these guys with him drilling. Because we're not going to be able to do anything until we take this one here. Then we'll be able to core that one. It's just going to take a bit. That's all. Okay. So, where are you guys heading? Some steps provinces over here. So, let's come on over and catch them. Yep. How's that feel, idiots? 
to get on up here. So it looks like somebody's got... AQ's got some armies. Sure. I like innovativeness. Innovativeness gives all power costs, so we'll go with that. All right. I said it was going to be the final episode, but... May end up taking a bit more. Though we may just go a long episode, to be honest with you. So in this war, I just want to take this. Right? All the provinces I need for the achievement. So just this here. That's all I want from you guys. It's a holy war, so I need to win battles in order to... But if I can just peace out people... Where are you guys heading? Upper Ishim. It's Step, so let's meet them there. Oh, come on now. They're so fast. Kurgan. Let them lock in. Still steps, so easy bet, easy win for us. There you go. Get these guys full occupied over here. That's a clap. All right, very good. That's all I want. Stupid champion or stupid, stupid champ. See, I'm, I've been playing too much League of Legends. Um, core y'all up. I'm glad it didn't get um. Religious fervor. That would be incredibly annoying. I'll convert it first, and then we'll take it back later. Let's get you guys over there. Have you guys just chill over here? I suppose. No big deal. I did not mean to consolidate them, but I did. Oh, well. I meant to have them drill. These guys' truce is up, so I guess we're going to attack them. And then, well, no, no need to force march. France is going to send their men over, so I'll just get my boys over here. Luckily for us, we have some forts. I don't think we have any level four forts except for Krakow, but that's okay. So Lithuania does have an army over here. They're on my capital here. Or not my capital, but Warsaw. This is just for clean borders. This These provinces don't actually matter. Get you guys out of there. Very good. Let's have you guys do something like this. These guys will march on over this way. We're good. Should be a pretty quick war. Oh my gosh. Yep. <laughs> How about that? So in this war, I want to take all of this. I have claims on it. So 69 war score. Nice. Oh no. Who could have foreseen this? Let's get you guys over here and over here. And now we just need to repel the, the, the Frenchman. That's all we need to do here. So I'll get you guys over here. Uh, Militarist. I guess we'll go with the Theocrats. I hate to lose trade efficiency, but uh, I'm certainly not going to pay to... Okay. Ottomans have declared war on me. You've got to be kidding me, man. Uh, so much for the final episode. <laughs> Looks like I don't have a choice now. All right, well, that's annoying. Let's see here. What's my professionalism? I'm just going to hire some mercs, I think. Uh, hopefully, one I can find one with a good general or some good stats. Nope, none of them look that good, honestly. Yeah, none of them are that good. So, psych to that. That's okay, though. Go down to speed four. It looks like we got one more episode here. Oh, this is a conquest war. Wait a minute. They attacked me? Ottoman, you are silly. You are very silly. Well, time to uh, kick my economy into overdrive here. This is this is a nothing burger, man. I'm not even worried about this war. Let's get some armies over here. We need to get out of this war ASAP, though. France is going to be problematic, but it's okay. Okay. All right. We're going to semi-state and then give them the defensiveness edict for extra, you know, defensiveness. Now, these guys have 30 cannons. So, yeah. That is an issue. We're going to scorch this province here. We're going to force march in. That will make it so they will not be able to reinforce, right? Because they won't get here until the 15th. Then it's going to take them however many days to get over there, right? So, we're going to scorch this province as well. 
pull back. It doesn't really matter what Ostracon does out here. I, I don't care about them. Now, the French here are... Wow. Okay. Yikes, man. Okay. Uh, I don't think I win this battle here. But I'm going to do my best here. We're sending the boys in. I'm going to reinforce them. Oh, and they've got another... Another 32 stat coming out. All right, good. Let's go with some mill tactics then. I'll take tech ahead of time if it means I get some extra bonuses there. Let's flee before I take any more major losses. And uh, that's a tough one. That's a very tough one. Ottoman's coming up here now. This is grasslands as well. So I'm just waiting for these cannons over here to get grouped up. Looks like everything is built. And now this, this massive army up here is uh, just going to need a couple of moments. So they're taking 4.1% attrition there on that stack. So that's great. So these guys are not going to be able to come up this way unless they attack me. So that'll be good. I'll, uh, I'll take the prestige guy. That's fine. And to be honest with you, level two fort defense guy is not, or level three fort defense guy is probably not a bad idea, though I think I'd rather go with morale. France is going to be marching on my capital here. So this is a bit of a predicament here. So these guys here, this is this stack is done. Yep, 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 yep. yep. All right, good. Good, good, good. Let's get you guys with him. We'll get you force march down here. All right, let's have you head over here to siege back Posen. Getting the Ottomans off my army is going to be a big one. What is their war goal? Yedison. Oh, it's right here. I'm on the border. Very good. I can handle that. Um, let's go with some spy network speed. Build some spy network on y'all. Very good. Have them get attacked. And then I will have my boys head in there half stack. That should be an absolute just destruction because of the cannons. Oh, whoa. they are completely shattering. Oh my gosh. All right. Very good. All right, so let's pull you guys out here. Yeah, this uh, two-front war is not, not the best thing to ever happen to me. So we also have better units, so let's get those. Um, do we want... I think I want extra fire, so let's pull those guys there. Let's scorch this province just to make sure that nothing... No funny business happens since my morale is low for a moment. All right. Now this French stack here... Okay, really solid defensiveness there. I will happily take that. This will be my home guards. Truce with Kalmyk will be up soon. How is this over here? So within the next couple of months, that one will be finished. Maybe even next month. Okay. These guys are good to go. So we're going to shift consolidate and force march them in. That should be an absolute just thrashing for the French. That is, in fact, an overrun stack wipe for the French. So... Just about best case scenario in that in that fight. All right. Get you guys over here since we won Poston. That is a defensive fort for us. So it is in the woods and it is indeed in the woods. All right. Now I don't care about Ostracon. I don't need their land. So yeah, we just got to core this and convert. Core it. Yep. Very good. And then over here. So let's count the numbers real quick there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So... Where am I missing one at? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this one here is going to need to finish up. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Not, uh, not my prettiest war or not my prettiest episode ever, but this is more an inconvenience just because these guys are, you know, being annoying. Let's uh, get a better general in here. Beat up on this French stack. The more Frenchies we can destroy, the better. And Lithuanians, of course. Since they're actually the war leader. Yes. Yes. Destroy them all. Because we need 69 war score. Nice. For this one. So that's just going to take some time. I want to click that off there. Um, Cool. I just need to defend against the Ottomans. It looks like the Ottomans kind of gave up on this one. Let's go with the manpower, I suppose. Yeah. No, wait. I already have the morale. Yeah. So I guess I'll just go with manpower and land maintenance. That's totally fine with me. And uh, I think we're going to wrap this war up in the campaign in the next one. So I think I said in the beginning this is going to be the last one. And I lied to you. So uh, stay tuned. 
big finale coming up tomorrow. We're going to finish up the war with the Ottomans. We're going to finish up our conquest here, and we are going to finish up our colonization, and we are going to get the Baltic Crusader, which is a fun achievement, and I have had a great time with it. If you guys are enjoying, show your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter, and support me on Patreon. It's all linked in the description below the video. That's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.